So back when we talked about the reactions of aromatic compounds, uh, we dealt specifically with EAS reactions of benzene or substituted benzenes. And I want to take just a brief moment to talk about EAS reactions with heterocycles, and specifically with nitrogen heterocycles. Now, first of all, a heterocycle is an aromatic ring here, in this case, uh, where not all the atoms are carbon. Specifically, obviously, we're going to have one that's nitrogen. And we'll start with parole here. And uh, parole is a five-membered ring here with the nitrogen, and the lone pair of electrons here is part of the aromatic system. Uh, and in this case, it turns out when you do an EAS reaction here, it's going to happen at the two position. Now we got to talk about what in the world is the two position. Well, if you look at parole, the nitrogen in your heterocycle is always given position one. So then the adjacent carbons are position twos, and the adjacent, uh, the next ones down the chain are position threes. And so in this case, it's going to happen at position two. And the idea is that when you do electrophilic aromatic substitution at position two, you get the most stabilized intermediate. And in this case, we get three resonant structures. If we did EAS at the three position instead, we would have only gotten two resonant structures. So that's why it occurs at the two position, you get the most stable intermediate here. So one other heterocycle we're going to look at here is pyridine, and pyridine is something we've seen before. And uh, you should realize that in this case, the lone pair is not part of the aromatic pi system. So uh, more basic than parole on the last slide and stuff like that, but uh, not so relevant here. But the big deal here is that we're going to find out that when we do EAS reactions, it's going to occur at the three position. So uh, again, nitrogen is the one position. Then we've got the two positions adjacent to that, the three positions adjacent to that, and the four position. Uh, in this case, if we go to do EAS, it's going to happen at the three position. And it turns out there's nothing super special about why it happens at the three position. It doesn't look particularly great. The big deal is that if you uh, do the EAS reaction at the two or four position, you get a really ugly uh, intermediate. And that intermediate's going to share the positive charge on the nitrogen. And you normally think, oh, okay, nitrogen, positive charge, no big deal. But in this case, it would not have a filled octet. It would be really unstable. And so, again, it's not that position three is so great. It's that positions two and four are horrible, uh, horribly unstable intermediates. So that's why it's going to occur at position three with pyridine.